It's been a crazy adventure in the Philippines so far. We've seen some beautiful places, snorkeled so much and spent a ton of time on a boat. We're in a brand new place today and this time we're going to do something a little different. Morning guys, hi, it's Preeti. Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. We're still in the Philippines and today we're in Koron. We literally have a half day here because we have a flight to catch in the evening and we're trying to make the most of it. Koron's really famous for lakes and beaches and of course islands again. But since we've had like a good share of our islands, we are basically going to explore some of the lakes. It's 6.30 in the morning and we're starting super early. There are a bunch of options to choose from if you're here and you want to do a package like a an ultimate day tour, a super ultimate day tour, or you can know what we're doing and book a private tour because after our experience with tour A in El Nido, we kind of didn't want to do the whole we kind of didn't want to do the whole crowded island hopping tour again and we also didn't want to cover everything on the stops, like all of the stops. So we've just taken a private tour and we know where we want to go. So that's what we're doing today. It's gonna to be fast, it's gonna be hectic, but I know it's gonna be fun. At the port, we are gonna get into a boat, and the two of us are gonna hop into J Paul. Apparently, the guys' names are Tom and Jerry. I don't know if they're joking or not. We're gonna hop into a boat now and head to Barracuda, Kayangan, and the Twin Lagoons. So, we checked into this hostel called Dion Hostel in Barangay 1 yesterday, and uh, I think we were just too tired to shoot anything, and even our charge batteries are all run out, including our personal batteries. But the hostel is actually pretty decently located. We even booked this tour through them and the agency they were doing it with is called Laughter Tours and Travels Private Limited. The hostel coordinated the whole thing. They basically called up the agency and figured out how to get a private boat for us and you know figured out when we could leave and also informed them as to when we need to come back. They've also gone ahead and packed us a breakfast. It's not included in the room rate but we really wanted something to eat so we got some pancakes as well which we're going to be eating now on the boat so that we see on time. We're just waiting for the guys to get us our masks, snorkel and fins before we actually head out. We've arrived at the docking area of Kayangan Lake. This is as it is really pretty and there's no one here because we're super early. There are some stairs over there. We have to basically cross this little cliffy, this little limestone cliff here and go to the other side. That's where Kayangan Lake is. So we're just going to put on our diving shoes and get our snorkels and masks and head over there. So there's an entrance fee to Kayangan Lake. It costs 300 pesos per head. The cost of renting out the boat for us was 3,000 pesos, so it comes to 1,500 for each of us, plus the additional entrance fees that we have. This tour does not include lunch, so typically an island tour or a tour that you would book with an operator which takes a group along would have a lunch, but we were okay skipping that because we anyway have to get back in half a day, so that's not included in this cost. What we're paying extra for is a private tour, leaving early and getting here when there are no people around. We have to climb around 400 odd steps. I don't know if we're ready for this. We'll find out. Remember when I said we were paying for no people to be here? This is what I meant.
it's a good idea to come early because a lot of other people also think of coming early so it's never really completely empty but come as early as you can and you will still find spots for yourself we're back in our boat and now we're headed to barakuda lake the crowd has landed over here we're hoping to miss it at barakuda so looks like we have arrived at barakuda but i already see some boats over there so let's hope it's not too many people 9 to 10 is supposed to be the most crowded time and we're reaching at 9:15 we took a lot of time at kangal but that's okay few steps to climb here as well doesn't seem as steep as kayangan do not completely isolated then it's still beautiful gorgeous to just explore on your own and we even met a couple of photographers there who took a few pictures of us say what you want crowded or not it's crowded for a reason right really pretty definitely a must do here in koron we don't know if we have enough time to see the twin lagoons but we're going to try because now that we're here might as well yeah oh wow that is some mask squeeze that i have That is the first lagoon. This is the docking area, and to go to the second one, you have to swim through this one gap over there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So we basically parked in the docking area over there. We docked at the docking area, which is the first lagoon, and we crossed this little uh, gap between two limestone cliffs to come to the second lagoon, which is this one right behind me. So blue, right? We are back on mainland and uh, <laughs> thank you Adrian <laughs> he just grabbed my hand and pulled me with the camera on me <laughs> Uh yeah we are I think we're in time we're just going to head to our hostel take a quick shower and then head to the airport because we have a flight to catch so this was what a half day tour in Koron can look like you can choose to do a super ultimate or an ultimate tour which has maybe about 6 to 7 stops but because we've also been island hopping so much we just wanted to cover like a few highlights over here in Koron i think we had a really great time it's nowhere as crowded as el nido it is still even even you know like, like when there are like a bunch of boats at these places it's not packed with people so you still find those spots of peace so yeah it's pretty fun to do but definitely keep koron in your itinerary when you're here i will see you very very soon with a brand new vlog from my next destination i hope you like this video it is a short and sweet one if you did like it please hit subscribe to my channel hit like on this video leave a comment share this with your friends and yeah i'll see you really really soon this is pp signing off for now Like, share, subscribe to Peppy Travel Girl. <laughs> Thank you.